The house portal in Remington in World 330 is an interesting spot to look for bots, especially high level bots. That's mainly because of the ornate rejuvenation pool in many maxed houses. And that's also how this high level bot farm was caught. Now, if we freeze the frame right here, can you spot it in this image? I'm looking at these two accounts right here. They're both really high level, but are wearing obby capes in the exact same gear. It's pretty easy to figure out what they're doing because after looking them up on the high scores, you can see what boss's kill count they both have. This is a high level Corporal Beast bot farm. The Corporal Beast is end game bossing content and each kill count on average is over 500k GP. These are clearly hacked accounts. Some of them have lots of kill count in other bosses. Some of them have 90 plus Slayer, even though that's not required for Corp. A few of them are even approaching 2k total level, which is a pretty big milestone. We'll get into how much GP these bots had on them as well as the highest level bot farm I've ever found right after the sponsor of today's video. Raid Shadow Legends has taken over and gaming will never be the same. You can play Raid both on your desktop and phone. There are millions of champion combinations and countless tactics to take on Raid bosses, dungeon runs, campaign battles, and PvP arena matches. There are over 25 million downloads, over 1 million players play the game every single day. To get yourself started, there's a super active Discord community with over 100,000 players players. There are also nearly 1,000 videos posted a week on YouTube about raids, so either drop your questions in the Discord or go watch a tutorial. My favorite part about playing raids so far is the variety in all of the different champions. There are so many epic characters, rich to off the bold from the Banner Lords faction's my favorite. Raid recently released its biggest update ever, the Doom Tower. It's a giant tower with 120 floors, lots of secret challenge rooms, and 12 bosses to take on. It's a huge challenge, but I'm having fun trying to beat it. Raid is adding even more champions and lots of events this month so it's the perfect time to get started. So click the link in the description and if you're a new player you'll get 50,000 silver, 50 gems, 1 energy refill, 1 clan boss key, 5 mystery shards, 1 day XP booster, and 1 free champion. Hexweaver. Hexweaver is a really good champion for new players. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. The rewards will only be available for 30 days and only for new players. So I found 12 of these Corporal Beast bots. As usual, I reported them to Jagex, who then found 20 bots total. Now across the 12 bots I found, they had a total of 3,882 Corp KC. That's probably only half of the total amount of the bot farm. Jagex told me those 20 accounts had 300 mil GP on them. They had also muled off and tried to sell 2.5 billion GP if you days ago, but the mule had already been banned. So in total, 2.8 billion GP was removed from the bot farm. I double checked a few days later and I did find some new accounts running. It seems to be the same bot farm because they have the same gear. It's easy for botters to replenish these high level bot farms when so many RuneScape accounts are hacked. I would put money on the fact that less than 1% of you have actually seen this bot farm and thought it was a bot farm. Not only is it incredibly well hidden, but it's a massive bot farm and every single one of the accounts is maxed melee stats. They're killing undead druids in the Forthos dungeon. Now I'll show you why you've probably never seen them and if you have, never thought they were a bot farm. The instant any player logs in on their minimap, they teleport out. That makes it incredibly hard for players to report them and it's probably why they've been able to operate for so long. I wasn't kidding when I said they're all maxed combat. Some of them even have 17 million XP in attack strength and defense. And what's even crazier is some of them even have 99 range and 99 melee. Age. Based on the average combat level, this is the highest bot farm I've ever found. They're all level 120 plus. This one was wearing a fire cape. A lot of them wear 99 strength capes. It's kind of ridiculous. I found 23 of them in different worlds and reported the usernames to Jagex. They detected a total of 47 maxed combat bots in this farm. They also told me that the average play time across the bot farm was 8 hours a day. They also found the bot farm's two mules with 400 mil GP each. And the 47 accounts had a total of 2.1 1 billion GP on them. So the bot farm was caught with a total of 2,900 million GP. Let's calculate how much gold this bot farm could generate in one month. At eight hours a day with 47 accounts, the bot farm plays 376 hours per day. After some quick research at maxed combat stats, you can get about 500k per hour from undead druids. That means the bot farm is generating 188 million GP per day, which translates to 5,640 mil per month or 5.6 
billion GP per month. I waited till I'd lost aggro from the undead druids to get a little bit of a closer look at them. And once you do that, it's pretty obvious that they're a bot farm. They're not wearing many untradeables, they have the combat bracelet, the obsidian armor, dragon boots, and of course they teleport as soon as you log in. This also just goes to show that bot farms will seek less usual money makers even if they're slightly less profitable. Max accounts like these could make a lot more GP per hour from other methods. Huge thanks to the two guys who tipped me off about this bot farm originally, one was tracking it for over a month. This next bot farm, I need your guys' opinion so tell me in the comments what you think. I've sent a bunch of usernames over to Jagex and they haven't confirmed if they're bots. But this all started a few days ago when a clan and some individuals doing the nightmare boss tipped me off all at once about some potential nightmare boss bot farms. And the nightmare really is endgame content. All of the accounts in question had very similar gear. They all used a Seracnus cudgel and a trident. They all had Amulet Furies, Dragon Defenders, Fire Capes, Dragon Boots, Verox Plate Skirts, and then either a Verox Brassard or a Torso. Also, basically all of them had Helms of Nightisna. The account stats varied considerably. Some had also killed lots of other bosses. So if they are bots, they'd probably be hacked accounts. I'm gonna list and show you some evidence and then you make up your mind for yourself. This five-man setup with this specific gear is operating on multiple different worlds. I found four different worlds with this five-man setup. Now, I never saw any of them talk and the clan never saw any of them talk. They tried different languages as well, never a word. The clan was also able to use nightmare mechanics to try to make some of these accounts die to the nightmare and were successful a couple times. This is the most compelling evidence to me though. You can spectate teams doing the nightmare boss. I spectated each of the four teams for quite a while. The thing that stands out to me most is their prayer. Almost without exception, they change prayer in perfect unison on the same tick. Of course, when the Nightmare targets one of them with melee, they change to protect melee. During two of the phases of the Nightmare, Sleepwalkers are summoned, and the number of Sleepwalkers is dependent upon the number of players in the instance. Now, this is less compelling evidence than the prayer, but every single time those Sleepwalkers are summoned, none of these accounts mess up and attack the same Sleepwalker as another account. In almost perfect unison, they each select a different Sleepwalker. This could just be four teams of incredibly efficient players, I don't really know. Mainly when one of the accounts is one tick off changing their prayers, it's because they've just eaten food. Over the course of an hour, I did catch a few instances when one player changed their prayer one tick before or after the other four. I don't know if this is the reason, but that isolated account was usually further away from the Nightmare boss than the other accounts. If we take a look at the rare drops from the Nightmare, this past month, especially the past three weeks, all of their prices have been dropping rapidly. On average, more of each of these unique drops is also being traded, especially in the past two weeks. There are always other large factors going on in the Rune's marketplace though. Again, Jagex hasn't confirmed whether or not this is a bot farm, so we really don't know. The other thing though is each of these five men teams that I found have roughly the same kill count per team. One team all had kill counts in the 1300s, one team all had kill counts in the 100s, one team had between 800 and 1000 kill count, and another team had kill count between two and 300. So it's interesting to note that each of these teams only plays together. One of the members of the clan that tipped me off about this found more accounts than I did and totaled their kill count to be about 23. 3,000 Nightmare KC. With such low prices of the uniques, each Nightmare KC is worth about 450k on average. So if this is a bot farm and has 23,000 KC, the bot farm has made well over 10 billion GP so far. There are plenty of other theories out there though. For example, this could just be groups of gold farmers using prayer scripts. Who knows? I've been getting lots of reports about a Slayer bot farm at Dust Devils, and I found a lot of these accounts. They're wearing full granite with an obby shield, rune boots, a glory, and a whip. They also usually have just about base 80 melee stats and all of them have 65 or 66 slayer. That's just the requirement for dust devils so I don't think they're botting slayer. They also wouldn't be here that long if they were because they'd get a new task. One thing that was interesting was every single one of these accounts is also prayer flicking the dust devils. It's a huge bot farm. Most worlds had one of these bots in them. Some had up to three. And as I was hopping through I also started to see suspicious accounts that were also prayer flicking but some of them had slayer helms and they were all higher level. They were also wearing dragon armor instead of grand. It. So it seems like these higher level accounts are part of the same bot farm, but are just older. The higher level accounts generally had almost base 90 melee stats. Here's something I thought was pretty odd. I saw one of the lower level granite accounts attacking a dust devil, and the higher level account with dragon armor also started attacking the same dust devil. But both accounts were prayer flicking the dust devil. I don't know if that means it's more likely this is a bot farm or less likely. I don't know why a player would attack a dust devil that's already being killed by another player and still prayer flick, but also why would a bot do that if it's programmed correctly it would only 
prayer flick if the monster was aggroing it. Either way, I found over 30 of these accounts. One of them was even level 114. Dust Devils are also only three to 400k per hour, so here's another example of a bot farm doing a less profitable method. I don't know for sure if these are bots. Jagex hasn't confirmed that yet, but generally gold farmers likely wouldn't do such a low GP per hour method without playing on five accounts, for example, which would make this method more comparable to bossing. But we know they aren't playing on five accounts at once because each account is almost perfectly prayer flicking. So if I had to bet on it, I'd say it's a pretty big bot farm. A tip came in about a bot farm in the Yanil Agility dungeon. What's weird is their combat level did not at all match what they were doing. Killing Chaos Druids. And as you can see from this footage, I mean, whoever owns this bot farm was completely unashamed about dressing it as the most stereotypical bot ever. No offense to any of the noobs out there that look like this, but like I said, a lot of these accounts had 70 attack, defense, and up to 90 strength. However, all of them did have between 58 and 65 agility. For what? I have no idea, but one of them even had the agility pet at 58 agility. As I hopped through worlds, I also started coming across level 67s. I immediately noticed that their non-combat stats were basically identical to the higher level accounts I had already found. So just like the Dust Devil bot farm, it seems like there are two different waves in this farm. Of course, I sent the names over to Jagex and they told me they detected 66 accounts in this bot farm. What was really surprising was that the average playtime of each account was only 30 minutes a day. I'm guessing that's to try to keep ban rates low, but that's not very much playtime whatsoever. And in total, all those accounts had 270 million GP. Apparently though, Jagex told me they found a lot of accounts like these, but at very early stages. Those accounts were still in free to play. They were traded 6 million GP for a bond and also lots of items for quests. So there are a lot of sleeper bots out there just waiting to replenish the higher level ones that get banned. I already covered a red spider egg bot farm in the Forthos dungeon, but there's also one in the Edgeville dungeon. You never know how much GP you're going to catch just from a few low level accounts doing an activity like this. I sent six usernames off to Jagex and they told me that it's a huge bot farm banned pretty frequently. From the six names I sent in, they found 29 active accounts linked to them. The bots themselves only had 1.8 million GP on them, and Jagex says they're programmed to offload 543 red spider eggs at one time. However, Jagex did also track down the mules from this farm. One had 180 mil, three more had 20 to 50 mil each, and the main mule that the other mules were feeding had 850 million GP on it. So in total, 1,050 million GP was removed. Not bad for such a scrappy low-level bot farm. If you liked today's video, make sure to like the video, and if you like more than one of my videos, consider subscribing. We're approaching 270k subs, which means we'll be 30k away from the big 300.